Hi, it's Sarah from Inner Accountancy here. Just giving you a little bit of an update on yesterday's budget and what that means in relation to tax and business. So the first measure, which comes as no real surprise, is that the lifetime limit for entrepreneurs relief has been reduced back down from a generous £10 million pounds to £1 million. Pounds. That means disposals over and above £1 million pounds will be subject to standard capital gains tax at 20% rather than the reduced 10% which is currently available. And the second point from a personal taxation point of view is that the national insurance threshold has been increased to £9,500 pounds per annum. Um, so that's the rate at which you will now pay national insurance contributions. That means for directors of limited companies who have been remunerating themselves in the, the most tax efficient manner um, possible to date and paying themselves £719 a month as salary should increase that from the 5th of April to £792 per month. The rest you should take by dividend. Speaking of dividends, there have been no changes to dividend tax announced, nor have there been any changes to the income tax bans announced. And then the phone rang. So corporation tax, there have been hopes that corporation tax would be reduced to um, 17%, but that's not come to fruition. So corporation tax remains at 19% for the foreseeable. With regards to pensions and savings, the junior ISA allowance, uh, annual allowance, has almost doubled to £9,000, which can be contributed per annum. And the adult standard ISA remains unchanged £20,000 per year. Um, with regards to lifetime allowance and pension contributions, that just goes up by the rate of inflation to £1,073,000 to invest in pensions. There is good news, however, for higher earners with regards to pension contributions, and we can thank doctors really for this. The rate at which the annual allowance begins to be tapered back down, you lose your, your allowance for pension contributions has increased by £90,000. So it was at 110000 if you had earnings, including your pension contributions of over 150000 you couldn't put the four, full 40000 in and that started to be reduced back down to a um, minimum of £10,000 per annum. That's now, the levels have now increased, so if you earn over £200,000 and um, total total package of 240000 including your pension contributions, it's at that stage that your allowance begins to be reduced. Now it could be reduced, the minimum has, has also decreased um, from £10,000 as it was down to £4,000. So those earning a total of £312,000 per annum or more, you will only be allowed to contribute £4,000 per year into your pension. But that's a, a significant change for, for doctors and hopefully will encourage um, more doctors to continue working a little bit of overtime. With regards to business, as we've already mentioned, the corporation tax will remain at 19%. Uh, employment allowance, however, for those businesses with a class one national insurance um, contribution level of less than £100,000 last year will increase from £3,000 to £4,000, um, which will be a saving for approximately half a million small businesses in the UK. Um, business rates are being completely wiped for the next year for small businesses with a rate of a value of less than £51,000, um, particularly retail and leisure businesses to, to be impacted by that. There's also a um, grant available of £3,000 for business rates for smaller businesses and that is a grant, it's not loans, so it's not repayable. Um, with regards to IR35, the plan changes um, for the for the rollout, the extension of IR35 to the private sector for larger businesses will go ahead as planned. Um, so no no reprieve for the contractors out there contracting with, with larger businesses, unfortunately. There has been an increase in structures and buildings allowance from 2% to 3% and um, there are also plans to incentivise and extend um, R&D um, investment for businesses. With regards to startup businesses, the British Bank um, Startup Loans Fund has been extended 
um, in the hopes to support another 10,000 entrepreneurs through to 2021-22 and the so-called tampon tax has been abolished. Um, national minimum wage increase we already knew about, um, that's increased by over 6% and they have plans to increase the, the national minimum wage to a national living wage um, of £10.50 by 2024. So definitely want to plan for there. And that's about it. If you'd like to read the full details, we've, we've published an overview which is downloadable and I'll put a link below. Um, if you're interested in this and more, please subscribe. Um, and any questions, just drop us a line and we'll be happy to help. Okay, bye for now.